Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to review cheap versus expensive compression stockings. So I ordered compression stockings and compression sleeves from six different companies, all of which have very different price ranges, and we'll see if the expensive ones are actually worth it. So let's get into reviewing them. Okay, wait, I just realized that I never told you why I even use compression stockings. Long story short, I have a genetic condition called hypermobile Ehlers-Danlos syndrome, which causes me a lot of autonomic dysfunction, and my blood is really bad at circulating, and it kind of just gets like stuck in my feet, especially when I'm standing, and then it really hurts. And then I also get dizzy and have other symptoms because there's not enough blood actively circulating. So let's get into the expensive compression stockings. CEP or CEP, no idea how to pronounce this. These were initially $40, but I actually got them on sale for $34. And just from my first impression, they do feel like they're going to be very tight and not very stretchy, which can be good, can be bad. So these are pretty tight, but in a really good way. Um, I feel like they're supporting my calves and a little bit on my feet, um, though not quite as much as I would have hoped. I just did, I think it was like 17 minutes or 16 minutes, which is the most I've done yet on the treadmill. So that's awesome. And I was wearing these, the CEP compression stocks. Um, I'm still feeling blood pooling, still feeling some pain. I'm gonna see how bad it looks. I don't think it's gonna be that bad. It doesn't look bad, but like you can definitely still tell that there's blood pooling. Like, you know what I mean? Which is just really annoying. They feel swollen. I don't think that these are tight enough, but dang it, that really sucks. I mean, I think they did something, but not fantastic. So out of 10, I'm gonna give them a five. I do think that they did something, but they could have done a lot more. They were not that tight. And keep in mind, I did measure my calves and my feet and uh, it's supposed to be the right size. They were comfortable, but they really could have done a lot more. Next, figs. Now, I thought that figs were really cute, at least for, you know, compression socks. They're not like amazing. Um, these were $28. So I like these, they do give some sort of compression, but I think the CEP ones were tighter. I also noticed that at the feet, these don't really fit quite as well. Like I could easily make this like, you know, not the heel not actually be at my heel. Well, I'm about to go do the treadmill uh, walk on it for about 15 minutes. I'm gonna see if I can do a mile. And if not, I don't know, I'll see if I can do a mile. Um, and I'm gonna put on the figs while I watch, bring it on all or nothing. I think the figs ones did better than I was expecting, honestly. Sorry, there's a lot of feathers on my ground from my pillow. Um, ow. Um, yeah, like they're still kind of pulled, but not bad. Uh, and like, I'm not feeling much pain. I think that these work definitely better, honestly. But I definitely say these are better than the CEP ones. Like I want to give them like a seven and a half out of 10. Like they did a lot more than I thought and my calves were not hurting me that much. I mean, it is earlier in the day, but I'm still feeling pretty impressed, so. Seven and a half out of 10 for figs. And they're really cute, so just saying. The next ones are Bombas. I think that's how you say it. I know my sister has some socks from them that are not compression socks and they're like ridiculously expensive. I wanna say they're like $10 a sock or something stupid like that. But anyway, um, these were $24 and these are thicker than those for sure, especially at the feet. These feel more similar to something that you'd wear inside of a boot or like when you're going ice skating. These are kind of hard to put on. Fair warning for all of these, if you have instability in your fingers, I don't really, um, but I can imagine these would be really hard to put on if you did have instability, so just warning. Okay, these are cute. What I'm noticing is that there's two main areas of tightness. So up here around the top part of my calves and then down around the ankle, but the ankle spot isn't too tight and I'm pretty sure I could readjust it. Okay, so I think that I wish these were a little bit tighter on the calf, just a smidgen, but these ones I think were the best ones so far. Um, I think they really help the blood pooling. I think they don't feel very pooled at all. So I decided to give Bombas a nine out of 10 rating. 
Okay, uh, it's actually a week later, but I lost this footage somehow. So these are Pro Compression. Um, I got three different things from them actually because they looked pretty good. This one was supposed to be $50, but they had this really strange deal where you could buy it for $18 if you hit mystery sock, which means they give you like a mystery color. Um, and I thought it was gonna be really ugly, but it's actually not ugly, so I don't know, but very happy with that. And then these are actually just for your calves. Um, they're like two different pairs and they were supposed to be 45, but then I got a big discount again. So I don't really know what's up with this company, but whatever. Uh, and they also are definitely the same material, pretty strong. So I think these will be good. I also want to say that when I was buying these, I completely forgot to think about this. There are different levels of compression. So like how tight they are on your leg. And some of the ones that I got were, had less compression than others. And like, I don't know why I didn't think about that, but I do kind of wish that the companies I bought from all had the same level of compression so that it could be a better comparison. Okay, these feel pretty good, I think. I'm feeling more compression around the calf than the foot. I feel like a lot of these are made to fit a lot of foot sizes and they have some sort of compression around the foot, but not that much or really any when it comes like this way. Okay, so I was actually pretty happy with these. I feel like I didn't have too much blood pooling, though you can still kind of see it by my feet. But my calves felt pretty good, and honestly, I'm probably gonna give these like an eight and a half out of 10. I'm pretty impressed. Now, these are the same, and they're just different designs, so I'm gonna put one on each leg. So interestingly, I think that these are tighter than the full socks from the same company. Um, so I don't really know why, but they are. And I think these are going to be pretty good. So these ones clearly did not work very well. I had a lot of blood pooling in my toes. I don't think it was so much the brand as just this type of product might not work well for my problems. But I do think that they did something and they also kind of felt good around my calves. So I'm going to give them a 5 out of 10. Now getting into some of the cheaper ones, especially ones where multiple came in the pack. The cheap ones I got all on Amazon. So this one is called Elite Performance Compression Socks. It literally like does not even say a brand. So I can show you the link, it'll be down below, but I have no idea like what this is. These are just sleeves. They were $16 for a pack of two. I have another one down there. So four, cause, cause you have two calves. Because a lot of the pain that I get associated with blood pooling ends up being in my calves and not so much in my feet, at least not compared to my calf pain. I thought that these could potentially be really helpful. Though I'm not sure because I do have a lot of blood pooling in my feet, but it's just not nearly as painful as the blood pooling in my calves. So we'll see. Okay, I don't think these are going to do much. It's possible that they will, but I feel like they're loose and it's not good compression. So I don't think, yeah, they're not gonna look that bad, but I'm taking them off. These suck. Um, I'm gonna go switch because I cannot continue doing the treadmill wearing these. I'm giving them literally a like one out of 10, like I feel like they're actually worse than if I didn't wear them. So definitely do not recommend. These next ones came in a pack of three and they were $15 for a pack of three. They are just compression socks. They don't include the leg, um, which I thought would be also kind of interesting to try out because I have no idea if just compressing my feet would actually help. But even more so, if I'm not really in the mood to wear a full compression like stocking, I can just stick on this sock and I'll wear it like a regular their sock and maybe this will help so it feels pretty thin honestly um so i i'm not sure how much this is going to do it's not that they're doing nothing but i don't think that they're good enough to be really called compression i they kind of just feel like tight socks <sighs> okay let's go sit down and check out my feet okay they actually feel good like, I'm kind of surprised, but let's see how they look. Wow. Oh my goodness, not too bad. Okay, they're a little bit overexposed, but like, I think you can totally see enough. I think I'm gonna give these a five out of 10. I still have pooling, but it's not that bad. I was not expecting them to be this good because I feel like they're not that tight. So I don't know if it's that, it's just a specific time where I'm not that blood pooly, if that makes sense. But I really 
think those were pretty good <laughs> and lastly we have three pairs of full stockings from the company Fitrell. so three different pairs they also have different colors so i got them in white gray and black it was 15 dollars for a pack of three so these are not providing very much compression i can definitely tell that these are cheaper it kind of just feels like equal compression throughout the whole leg i but it's not very much also, the foot is so big, I don't think that's really doing anything for my foot. Okay, so my feet were really hurting me and not surprisingly, you can really see that there's quite a bit of blood pooling in my feet and my veins are kind of like large I don't I don't really know how to say that but you know what I'm talking about it's not comfortable my feet are swollen I would not recommend these I am shocked to actually see that there seemed to be quite the difference between the expensive brands and the non-expensive brands I'm gonna give Vitrell a 3 out of 10 and even that could be generous <laughs> Okay, so now that I've worn them all, I wanna go through and rank them. So in the great category, I'm going to put Bombas and Pro Compression Socks. I really think that those were pretty good. Um, they definitely reduced a lot of my blood pooling and the pain that I get with it. So I would highly recommend either of those two. And with Pro Compression's discount and then the regular price of Bombas, I don't think that they're too expensive. I think that they're worth it. And then in the very good category, I'm going to put Figs. I think that it's like, pretty good it's not amazing but I think it's worth the money and if you like their designs I would say go for those but then I think there are three of them that are tied so pro compression sleeves um, CEP and then fuel me foot which is such a weird name um, I think that those are not even in the good category I would put them in like the category like they're better than nothing but I probably wouldn't spend my money on them given that there are other options that make more sense and then lastly the Fitrell and the Actin put definitely no do not get those I think they did not do anything um like no <laughs> I really hope that this video was interesting and fun and maybe you'll get some good compression socks now because it can be really hard to know what companies are good. So thank you so much for watching. If you want to subscribe and see more videos about EDS, POTS, dysautonomia, and chronic illness, I would really love it if you subscribed. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!